Today's video is on British Seagull outboard flywheel removal. Um, the first procedure is take off your flywheel nut. And what I've done overnight is I soaked this in. You can either soak it in paraffin, petrol, or WD 40 or something similar just to go down into here to release that bit of a seal that's there. Some of these can be fairly stuck down hard. So we just take off a flywheel cover. Um, what I like to do with this is put on a couple of rubber washers. Sometimes the impact can be can be or will have to be quite hard to get these to release. Um, I have another one here. You can see from examples here that there's another one here with a, a crack in the top of the, the flywheel. Now that may have fallen on its head or something at some stage, but that's the damage that can occur if you don't maybe put a washer or have some sort of protection because it will take quite a bang to get these to release some of them some come off easy some don't um, what I like to do then is remove the spark plug I'll take out a spark plug there to find our correct position for the crankshaft and we get a little screwdriver inserted into the plug hole and we rotate the flywheel and make sure you can see the pistons coming all the way out all the way back in it's about the lowest spot there the piston must be in as far as it can go as farthest away from the spark plug hole as possible and then we go to the other side of the flywheel what I like to do is get a pencil and just mark up where that spot is for the person holding either for yourself or whoever's going to hold it it is a two man job so make sure you have someone with you for that and when they hold it up they can see the mark in front of them and so that it doesn't move away you will need two people for this um, it's much safer much better to do it that way um, that's it so we'll just drop it down now From here now, um, we just run, line up our pencil marks, line up our pencil marks just there again on the front. Make sure that's perfectly straight. You get your assistant in with a lump hammer. You could use a normal hammer, I prefer to use a lump hammer. It, it kind of delivers a better blow on it, a more solid blow. And it does have to be quite a sharp blow. Um, little small ones won't do any good for you. It won't release it. And it can actually damage the, the crank there as well. So you get, you lift the clean off the ground and then you hit it one blow and that's it. You release the, the nut. And we take off our rubber washers and it should come straight up. There you have it. Um, if you have a flywheel that's quite stubborn, maybe soak it again for another night or two. Only give it maybe one or two blows. Um, they will have to be quite sharp blows and do use a lump hammer if possible. Um, I haven't had one that hasn't opened for me yet anyway. So um, just, just stick with it. Maybe give it another night of soaking again if it is very, very stuck. Um, you can usually tell by the condition of the engine how if it's going to come off easy or not. But do try and use a lump hammer. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more Seagull videos.